Hi and welcome. Today I'll be going over this, the explanation of the solution to move zeros. I'm going to first walk through an example and then go straight into the code. So I'm going to um, have a variable called place non zeros. And normally I would call this j, but just so that this example is more clear, I'm going to call it place non zeros. And the key to this problem is I'm going to work with the uh, non zero elements in the array first and move them to the front of the array and then fill the remaining of the array with zeros. So I'm going to go through this array. So zero, disregard it, zero, disregard it, one. So one is not a zero. So I'm going to take one and place it where place non zeros is currently at and then move place non zeros forward. So then keep going, zero, disregarded, two. So two is not a zero, so I'm gonna take two and place it where place on zeros is currently at and then move placed on zeros forward. Zero, disregarded, seven. So seven is not a zero, so I'm gonna take it seven and place it where placed on zeros is currently at and then move placed on zeros forward. zero, disregarded, eight, eight is not a zero, so I'm going to take eight and place it where placed on zeros is currently at, and then move placed on zeros forward. So now I have all the non-zero elements in the beginning of my array. And so from place non-zeros to the end of the array, I could just set all these elements to zero. So from place non-zeros to the very end of the array, I'm going to set these elements to zero and that will give me my answer. So now I'm gonna quickly code this out. So let place non zeros equal zero for let i equal zero, i is less than nums dot length. So I'm gonna go through the array. So if nums of i is not zero, I'm going to uh, take that element and place it where place non zeros is currently at and then increment place on zeros. Okay, so now I dealt with all the non-zero uh, integers and I'm now going to go from place on zeros to the very end of the array and just set those elements to zero. Turn nums. Okay, I'm going to submit it. Okay, so now I'm going to go over the time and space complexity. So, in here we have like one pass through the entire array. So, this would be O of n right here. And then this worst case scenario will also be O of n because place non zeros can start at zero and it can go through the entire array again. So the time complexity of this would be O of n plus O of n, which just equals O2 of n. But we can just drop the constant and it'll just simplify to O of n. So the time complexity would be O of n constant, um, sorry, linear time. And the space complexity would be constant, O of one, because as my input size increases, my space is not gonna increase. And that's it, and um, I hope this helped, and thank you so much for watching.